Hello everybody, Joe Winston here. Today I'm going to be playing Fantasy Nuts and Bolts. So yeah, um, I'm going to be showing you a few vehicles um, and what, like how long it took me to build them and I will describe like where I got them from and that. So yeah, let's begin. Now shout outs. Um, now... The shout outs, I don't really know their names, but the sh to this episode's shout outs go to the creators of the Thunderbird series, the newest series, not the really old puppet series that is on I ITV and CITV over um, on Saturday at 8 o'clock in the morning. So here we go. Yeah, so that's the shout out for today. Um, so yeah, I am pr a pretty big Thunderbirds fan, so today I'm going to be showing you, well the first vehicle today, I'm going to be showing you my Thunderbirds. So uh, that will come on later. So, we're going to start with Thunderbird 1. Here it is. So we're going to use the Testo track. Here it is, it starts off like this. If you press A and it activates some balloons which you can use to inflate yourself so that you tip up because that was a problem I had with my previous Thunderbird one is that I, it can topple over itself so yeah now you deflate them X activates flamethrowers which act like rockets it's pretty hard to see them, but now you can see them. Oh, sorry about that, guys. So, yeah. So, it's got the flamethrowers, missiles, and if I do this... Now, Thunderbird 1 has a hover mode in the actual film. The film of Thunderbirds and the animation and the... Puppet. So I fitted two rotors on the bottom to replicate that. So yeah, that's one of them. Um, now second one only works in single player. This is my Thunderbird 2. Uh, previously I think my previous one's better, but I will show you this one because this is new. Because I have bumpers, it doesn't really. It has to hover, which wastes fuel, but. Yet again, this one has actual hover engines, so I can hover, and if I hold B, I can drop the I can drop the pod. Yes, and it is like it's not straightforward to recover it, but it is like you can just do that, and then you will have recovered it. No, it is actually I think the wrong way round, but oh well. Oink. <laughs> right. So yeah, please see if there are any like vehicles you want me to build. So yeah, this is my Thunderbird 3. This one, the balloon system doesn't really work, as I shall now demonstrate. It doesn't even raise the nose. So this one, I have to do it manually, which is that. This one has a one flamethrower, unlike the other one, but this one's in the middle, so it's easier to see. When the engines ain't on, anyway. This one hasn't got a rocket, but it has. In between the three, you can see it's got that tow bar. That is for a future project. And if you do follow Thunderbirds, um, Thunderbird 3 is the rocket that can connect to the space station, Thunderbird 5. So, yeah. Um, so, that's that. Now, um, this one was kind of based on the film not the cartoon slash animation here it is it's got lights underneath and it's got floaters to help it float it's got a scuba seat and if I'm going quick enough those little fists on the front will stop me from damaging the craft too much only they really take the damage so yeah I haven't built it yet but yeah so this so that has been, well, the Thunderbirds. Now we're going to go on to just a couple more video, 
vehicles. This is my Ferrari Drifter. Huge Ferrari fan. It hasn't really got anything on it. It is very quick though. It has two super engines. That's just the um, ice doing that. So yeah, this one can work in single and multiplayer. Now if you want to know how I got it that low, I've used L, like L panels to put it that low. And that one in the middle is an L panel along with the other side. That's how you get it so low. Now a couple of my, most of my designs actually have that. So yeah, it is pretty good at drifting because of the power. Right, so now this is a hovercraft. Now I don't really, well I've started venturing into hovercrafts. Here it is. So it's got two little yellow lights on the front because I've recently learned that yellow lights are quite effective. Now this one's even better than the Ferrari Drifter at drifting, but then it is a hovercraft, so, yeah. Now, there is a weird balance ratio in this, where if you have these hover cushions, uh, yet again I've got the L plates, but those little hover cushions under there, you might have just been able to see them. When they go on water, it just acts like a boat, it doesn't drift or anything. So yeah, that's weird, but I kind of like it. And when I actually get out, the things deflate and land on that, on those little things. These are designed to be like big skirts, or they can be something else, if you wish. So, one more vehicle. This one, I ain't going to be doing the jet, or the fighter, or the cannon, or the tower, or the superman, or the Covenant Corvette. It's the transport hovercraft. Now, oh no. <laughs> I actually want to show you this in the main world. Not in the testo track as it's called. So yeah, um, I just wanted you to show you it in like a live environment, not in like a closed off environment. So technically, all the worlds in Banjo because they're closed off. So yeah. So when it finally finishes loading, we're going to go into this one because you start on a smaller island. Now, um, just as like a quick heads up, I'm going to show you something that I have. It's this. It is a Thunderbirds plate from the original series. I've had that for, I think, five or six years now, since I actually moved from my old house. So, yeah. Um, so now while we may wait for it to load... I am going to be telling you for May the 4th, which is, to, which I think is either today or tomorrow, I will be um, doing a video for it, for Star Wars Day. I think it is Star Wars Day today, actually, so, yeah. Happy Star Wars Day. Here's the transport hovercraft. Now, it's got three guns on the top that people can man. It's got the pilot seat, which I'm in now, next to the two engines. Now, it has to be powered along by rockets as well, quite hard. I couldn't put a skirt around this thing, I reached max part amount. So, now we're on the sea. I have got a, land, a World War II landing craft that can do exactly the same as this. Now, how this mechanism works is, you see that front thing? It's got tow bars on the front. Now, if I press X... Hard to see. There we go. I'll show you. Now, just to recover it, you just hold B and then hold RB. But we need like a flat land, really. Ah, here we go. Right. Oh my god. Hovercrafts are so irritating. So you just press X, it drops down, hits the tow bars. In recovery, you just hold RB while holding B. Now, my World War II land landing craft is different. So here it is. It's only got it's got the three guns again for people. That small little gap there is big enough for people, and this one fits down even better. But it can only be used on thingy. Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed watching. This has been Joe Winterton, aka me, um, Fantasy Nuts and Bolts, and I shall see you next time. Bye.